We've got to do both. And that's exactly what my plan does. Look, as I travel around the country, this is the issue that uh, will break your heart over and over again. I just uh, yesterday, I was in Toledo uh, shaking some hands in a line. Two women, both of them probably in their mid to late 50s, had just been laid off of their plant. Neither of them have health insurance. And they were desperate for some way of getting coverage. Uh, because, understandably, they're worried that if they get sick, they could go bankrupt. So it, 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 here, here's what my plan does. Uh, if you have health insurance, then you don't have to do anything. If you've got health insurance through your employer, you can keep your health insurance, keep your choice of doctor, keep your plan. The only thing we're going to try to do is lower costs so that those cost savings are passed on to you. And we estimate we can cut average family's premium by about $2,500 per year. If you don't have health insurance, then what we're going to do is to provide you the option of buying into the same kind of federal pool that both Senator McCain and I enjoy as federal employees, which will give you high quality care, choice of doctors, at lower cost because so many people are part of this insured group. We're going to make sure that insurance companies can't uh, discriminate on the basis of pre-existing conditions. We'll negotiate with the drug companies for the cheapest available price on drugs. We are going to invest in information technology to eliminate bureaucracy and make the system more efficient. And we are going to make sure that we manage chronic illnesses like diabetes and heart disease uh, that cost a huge amount but could be prevented. We've got to put more money into preventive care. Uh, this will cost some money on the front end, but over the long term, this is the only way that not only are we going to make families uh, healthy, but it's also how we're going to save the federal budget because we can't afford these escalating All costs. All right, Senator McCain. Well, it is a terribly painful situation for Americans. They're seeing their premiums, their co-pays go up. Forty-seven million Americans are without health insurance in America today. And it really is the cost, the escalating costs of health care that are inflicting such pain on working families and uh, people across this country. And I am convinced we need to do a lot of things. We need to put health care records online. The VA does that. That'll, that'll reduce costs. We need to have more community health centers. We need to have walk-in clinics. Uh, the rise of obesity amongst young Americans is one of the most alarming statistics that there is. We should have physical fitness programs and nutrition programs in schools. Every parent should know what's going on there. We, we, need to have, we need to have employers reward employees who join health clubs and practice wellness and fitness. But I want to give every American family a $5,000 refundable tax credit. Take it and get anywhere in America the health care that you wish. Now, my old buddy Joe... Joe, the plumber's out there. Now, Joe, Senator Obama's plan, if you're a small business and you're able, be, and you're, the guy that sells to you will not have a capital gains tax increase, which Senator Obama wants, if you're out there, my friend, and you've got employees and you've got kids, if you don't get, adopt the health care plan that Senator Obama mandates, he's going to fine you. Now, Senator Obama, I'd like, still like to know what that fine's going to be. And I don't think that Joe right now wants to pay a fine when he is seeing such difficult times in America's economy. I, Senator Obama wants to set up health care bureaucracies, take over the health care uh, of America through, as he said, his object is a single-payer system. If you like that, you'll, you, you'll love Canada and England. Is so that the point your is, it, so, is, it, is, it is not. And, and I just well, described it. That, I, I, I just excuse me. I, I just described what my plan is. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you, Joe, too, if you're out there. Uh, here's your fine. Zero. Uh, you won't pay zero? a fine because zero. Because, I, as I said in our last debate, and, and I'll repeat, John, I exempt small businesses from the requirement for large businesses that can afford to provide health care to their employees but are not doing it. I exempt small businesses from ha having to pay into a kitty. But large businesses, they can afford it. We've got a choice. Either they provide health insurance to their employees or somebody has to. Right now what happens is those employees get dumped into either the Medicaid system, which taxpayers pick up, or they're going to the emergency room for uncompensated care, which everybody picks up in their premiums. The average family is paying 
an additional $900 a year in higher premiums because of the uninsured. So here's what we do. We exempt small businesses. In fact, what, Joe, if you want to do the right thing with your employees and you want to provide them health insurance, we'll give you a 50% credit so that you will actually be able to afford it. If you don't have health insurance or you want to buy into a group plan, you will be able to buy into the plan that I just described. Now, what we haven't talked about is Senator McCain's plan. He says he's going to give you all a $5,000 tax credit. That sounds pretty good. Uh, and you can go out and buy your own insurance. Here's the problem. Uh, that for about 20 million people, you may find yourself no longer having employer-based health insurance. This is because younger people might be able to get health insurance for 5,000, young and healthy folks. Older folks, less healthy folks, what's going to end up happening is that uh, you're going to be the only ones left in your employer-based system. Your employers won't be able to afford it. And once you're out on your own with this $5,000 credit, uh, Senator McCain, for the first time, is going to be taxing the health care benefits that you have from your employer. And, and this is your plan, John. For the first time in history, you will be taxing people's health care benefits. By the way, the average policy costs about $12,000. So if you got $5,000 and it's going to cost you $12,000, that's a loss for you. Last point about Senator McCain's plan is that insurers right now, the, the main restrictions on what they do is primarily state law. And under Senator McCain's plan, those rules would be stripped away, and you would start seeing a lot more insurance companies cherry-picking and excluding people from coverage. That, I think, is a mistake, and you know, I, I think that this is a fundamental difference in our campaign and how we would approach health care. What about that? Hey, Joe, you're rich. Congratulations, because what Joe wanted to do was buy the business that he's been working for 10, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And you said that you wanted to, to spread the wealth. About, in other words, take Joe's money, and then you decide what to do with it. Now, Joe, you're rich. Congratulations. And you will then fall into the category where you'll have to pay a fine if you don't provide health insurance that Senator Obama mandates, not the kind that you think is best for your family, your children, your employees, but the kind that he mandates for you. That's big government at its best. Now, 95% of the people in America will receive more money under my plan because they will receive not only their present benefits, which may be taxed, which will be taxed, but then you add $5,000 onto it. Except for those people that have the gold-plated Cadillac uh, pro, uh, insurance policies that have to do with cosmetic surgery and, and transplants and all of those kinds of things. And the good thing about this is they'll be able to go across America. The average cost of a health care insurance plan in America today is $5,800. I'm going to give them $5,000 to take with them wherever they want to go. And this will give them affordability. This will give them availability. This will give them a chance to choose their own futures, not have Senator Obama and government decide that for them. 